Hi, this is Michael Klaus, uh, Tiny House Solutions. So, we live in a very small house, it's about a thousand square feet, which I guess for some tiny house people is a mansion. But uh, you just saw our two bedrooms. This is the office, we use it for an office. This is the bedroom, right? Uh, and that's all the place we have. So the problem is, what happens if we have company? What happens if we have somebody come and visit? Two years ago, we had this bulkhead replaced. And uh, when we were doing that, we thought, well, wouldn't it be kind of interesting if instead of just being a bulkhead, it was a bulk bed, uh, providing some sleeping for uh, maybe visiting guests. Or probably what we'd do if we had guests would be, we would sleep in the bulk bed and our guests would sleep in our room to make them more comfortable. All right, so this is the bulkhead and uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of how it works in a second uh, as a bed. But first, we wanted some storage in here so we uh, hooked up a little hinge block tackle pulley system uh, so we can lift the stairs, store some things underneath. Here's how it works. So we've taken uh, one of the rafters and reinforced it pretty well and uh, put a nice eye bolt on there. Then we'll take our block and tackle, clip it on there. The bottom end, we're going to clip right on this little rope loop that we've got tucked below the stairs here. And once that's set, we can start pulling this. Now these stairs are pretty heavy. Once I get them up to about that height, I've got this nice 4x4 four four that I'll pop under here. Slowly let it down. And there it is. Now you can access under the stairs and get to my storage. Right now all we've got in here is some apples. Cold storage though, those will keep them nice and cool through the fall. Right, and to let it down we're just going to pull up and get this back out of the way. Now if I tried to lift this on my own I wouldn't be able to, probably, or I would, but it would take a uh, a lot. The block and tackle makes it pretty easy and then just let it gently back down. I've also got this. It's a little ramp I built. It sits right here and when it's not being used I store it in the corner. I can use that to wheel my uh, wood cart up and down the steps. Yard in the fall, in the chicken coop. There's the chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. Come here, chicken, chickies. Hi, chickens. Hi, chicken, chickies. So this is where we sleep. We've got the Cabela's 
camp bed mattress, almost three inches thick, on top of a couple of uh, you know just sleeping bag rolls. We've got the walls insulated, only it doesn't uh, keep it that warm. It is ventilated. Uh, on the cool nights, it'll get cold though. And then we've got a little bit of space, so if we needed to, we could still get down inside into the basement. There you go. You have to crawl. It's a little humiliating. They could always sleep on the couch. I guess, oh, I never thought of that. I guess that's an option. They could just sleep on the sofa, Andrea. <laughs> we don't need that. Good thing you thought of it. Yeah. But that would just be boring. The bulk bed. <laughs>